Let's raise up your hands with everyone. Father, in the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, I pray. Let's show importance of fasting. It helps one to understand the do's and don'ts of God in your life. It helps one to what? Now, can you imagine? Can you imagine you, you, you want to get married? God may actually tell you that do, do not be doing this or be doing this. You want to do a, a, a big business. God may tell you be doing this or do not be doing this. There are do's and there are don'ts. Anything you do, trust me, there are instructions. They are not general instructions on anything. Never be deceived by the devil. There is always an instruction in your greatness. An instruction is different from another person. What God may tell me I must do is not the same. He may tell you what you must do. God attaches instructions. But for you to know these instructions, you must fast. Let's look one example in the Bible of a man who he didn't know what to do in the desert. God kept on saying he was angry. He was angry. And he was like, but God, we do not know what wrong we have done. God said, wow, well, do you want to know do's and don'ts? He said, yeah. God said, been fasting. So he fasted for 40 days. And the Lord gave him the Ten Commandments. So from that moment, they knew what was wrong and what was right. The do's and the don'ts. Now, when you check in the Bible, all right, this man, his name is Moses. In Exodus 34, verse 28, NIV. Let's just read it. Exodus 34, verse 28. Let's see. Moses was there with the Lord for the days and for the nights without eating bread or drinking water. What was the benefit? And he wrote on the tablet the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. How did they come? He fasted. How would you get God's instructions? Fast. I know you sometimes take things for granted, but trust me, what God has put upon you is too big. It deserves you to sacrifice your moment and pin fasting. Clap your hands to the Lord. <laughs> Number two, fasting brings victory. Any major victory in the Bible which you know or you may come across, there was a fasting attached. And yet, you are looking for victories and there is no fasting attached. Hear me, if you want victory, fast. Fast. Let's see in the Bible one of the victories. In the book of 2 Chronicles 20, verse 2 to 3, before the greatest victory happened, let's see what they did. Some people came and told Jehoshaphat, a vast army is coming against you from Edom. Imagine, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. A vast army is coming against you from Edom, from the other side of the Dead Sea. It is already in Hazazon, uh, Tamar. That is En Gedi. They, they are already on their way coming against you. They are already, okay? Because some people be like, I'm already in a problem, I can't fast. No, it was already, they were already on their way. Fasting, do not have to make a break. I'm planning to fast. The moment trouble hits, an alarm hits, fast. Don't start like panicking first. I don't know what to do. Oh, no, 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 no. And then you start depressing. The devil begins to bring so much. You be, why me? Uh, I don't know what's going on here. No, fast. See what the Bible says. See what the Bible says. Alarm. He was alarmed. Jehoshaphat resolved, I love that statement, in his alarmed state, in his, alarm, in his shocking state, he is shocked, in his shocked state, 
he resolved, that's it, to inquire of the Lord. And he proclaimed a fast for all Judah. What about you when you are alarmed? What do you do? What do you resolve in doing when trouble comes? When problem comes? When something suddenly comes to you? What is your first step you do? You find you try to solve things with your own strength. And when you fail, that's when you run to God. That's not how things are supposed to be done. The first resolution was fasting. So fasting helps people to have victory. Somebody say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now we know what happened over there. Okay, from, that, from, 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 from uh, uh, um, uh, verse 16, 17, 18 of the same chapter, the Bible says, God set ambushments. God went to fight for them and he fought for them. As you fast, may God give you victory. I say, may the Lord God of, of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, God of Mejawan, may he give you victory in the name of Jesus. Fasting also gives guidance. Fasting helps with guidance. Do you need guidance? Resolve into fasting. Do you need guidance? Fasting can help you. Let's see one example in the Bible. Now, when we check in the Bible, we find a man by the name Daniel. Okay? Daniel was a man who, he really needed guidance. He was confused. He didn't want confusion to stay in his brain. He did not want any confusion to stay in his brain. What did he do? He fasted. In Daniel 9 verse 3, we see Daniel doing something that is very needed right this very minute to be done by everybody. Let's see the scripture. Now let's read it. One, two, three, go read. So I turned to the Lord God and pleaded with him in prayer and petition in fasting and in sackcloth and in ashes for direction for guidance so fasting can help you to receive the guidance which job to do this job, that job uh, who to marry what business should I do? Fasting will answer that. All right. Let's see another verse on the same, on the same guidance. In verse 3, Daniel was doing what? He needed guidance in verse 3. In verse 21 to 22, okay, of the same chapter, what happened? While I was still in prayer, Gabriel, the man I had seen in the area vision, came to me in a swift flight about the time of the evening sacrifice. He instructed me and said to me, Daniel, I have now come to give you insight and understanding. Can you imagine he was looking for this for the longest time? When he fasted, an angel said, I have come to give you insight. And understanding. Most of you, your lives don't make sense. The things you're doing are not making sense. You need guidance. Fasting will help you. After fasting, you'll be so shocked how things will begin to make sense and how clear the direction will be. Oh, you want to do something and you don't know how to start, how to do it? Fast. You shall see. The Lord will give you guidance and direction. Fasting helps in big projects. You cannot undergo through a big project if you are a Christian, if you are saved, born again. Unlike people in the world, but if you are born again, the enemy will want to stop you 
The devil put up all resistance against you. So fasting helps in big projects. A good example is Nehemiah. Now let's see uh, from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 1, verse 4. NIV. The Bible says, when I heard these things, I sat down and wept. For some days, I mourned and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. And the rest is history. We see what was he planning to do. He was planning to build the walls of Jerusalem. He had a big construction project. He had to build the walls and he fasted. I don't cut out big projects without fasting. It's my routine. I do not. And it works, I can tell you. Fasting also helps to overcome temptations and addictions. Trust you me, never will you ever find on earth a woman of fasting who is struggling with addictions. Never will you find a man on earth who lives in fasting struggling with addictions. I have never seen that. I have addictions. What addictions? I don't know. I'm addicted to alcohol. I'm addicted to smoking. I'm addicted to substance. I'm addicted to pornography. I'm addicted to this. I'm struggling with this. I'm str you cannot be struggling with something if you're a person who fasts. In Luke chapter 4, verse 2, okay, and in give me NIV. Message, give me a message, give me a message. For 40 wilderness days and nights, he was tested by the devil. He ate nothing during those days. You see that? He was tested by the devil and he ate nothing during those days. And when the time was up, he was hungry. So when the devil was testing him, he ate nothing. In those days. So when he, when he saw the devil coming, he went into fasting. This is how Jesus overcame temptation. How do you overcome temptation? So fasting helps. It is important. Anyone who says, I don't know, I've been praying for deliverance and nothing is happening. I still have this problem. Well, you got the answer tonight. Begin to fast. God says he wants you to fast. So what is fasting? Fasting, the word fast is the word discipline. And it's just a discipline. This discipline is how you must handle yourself. In this level... You do not involve yourself in certain things which you are involving yourself in the moments you're not fasting. So in time of people eating, you use that time to pray. You are calling the attention of the heaven. You are inviting God's ability Are you aware of what I'm saying? Yes. Do you know that woman, that man who stopped phoning you and calling you, do you know at the end of your fasting, your phone can vibrate, grrr, grrr, like, ah, ah. Is it magic or what? Like, honestly, the, the man, he's supposed to do a project with you, he just disappeared. He's been waiting for a long time. Fast. You shall see testimonies. The Bible says, I have chosen this fasting where chains must be broken. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. He said, I have chosen this fasting where if there's oppression, the oppression must come out. Amen. He said, is it this one the fasting I have chosen? If you do have a moment in this month, it may be for victory. It may be for guidance. It may be to overcome temptation or addiction. It may be fasting.
to ask God for guidance. Or it may be fasting to break the bones, to loose the chains around your life. But have a moment and fast, and God shall give you victory. I said, God shall give you victory. Somebody asked me a question. He said, mm, uh, Papa, I said, can we fast today? He said, I ate breakfast. I said, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What, who told you that there's a habit that you, you can't fast because you ate breakfast? If, I, if God tells you, Many are occasions when I, I, I would have my breakfast. Of course, I normally don't eat breakfast. So if maybe I ate breakfast, okay, let's say I ate something. But then I go on the table, and then right there, okay, right there, the Holy Spirit says, do not eat. Seek the face of God. Should I say, because I ate, I ate in the morning, I can't fast? No. Many occasions, I don't eat I may eat breakfast. I may actually not eat lunch. Sometimes I'm passing through something or something's going on or I just had this something. I've already eaten my breakfast, my lunch, and something just came up in the evening. But like, no, I'm not eating. Because fasting is not a routine. The routine fastings are those which you make a plan like tomorrow I'll be fasting from 6 to 6. That one is a routine. You have already given yourself. It will be in that way. Okay? It is already a routine fast. But there are moments sometimes where I have even seen people who say, I can't do fasting because I'm on some tablets. I'm taking some tablets, so I can't fast. Yeah, we understand. Trust you me, it is not wisdom for you to to. Uh, to not use wisdom. It's not wisdom. So if you are on some medication, how do you fast? Okay? How do you fast? There was a certain woman who uh, told me, she said she wanted to fast, but she, uh, uh, she was told by the doctor that she had sugar. So if she doesn't eat, the sugar may go high. So I said, woman... So what does the doctor say uh, you can eat and you cannot eat? So she said, I can have some light foods. You cannot be fasting for your healing. Can you imagine? She says, you can't be fasting for your healing from sugar and you drop eating. Because the same sugar will rise up in your fast even before you finish your fasting. So I said, listen. I said, listen, do it. But... Take some light things to sustain your medication. And when she was finishing her fasting, she was healed. Look at, look at the wisdom of, of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were eating vegetables. Are you here? They were eating vegetables and water. Look at the continued fasting of, of John the Baptist. He was only having honey and locust. Use wisdom. So nobody should say, I already ate, so I can't fast. You such a person who gives excuses. When there is trouble, the Bible says when Jehoshaphat heard, I don't think he was, this was 4 a.m. I believe this was during the day, before lunch. And he said, alarmed, he declared a fast. So fast. When are you supposed to fast? Anytime you can fast. Nobody should lie to you to say, oh, because you... You ate in the morning, you can't fast. No. If, trust you, if, you, if your fasting says, I'm fasting breakfast, fast breakfast. 
If you're fasting, you say, I'm going to fast both breakfast and lunch. I want to eat. Fast them. If your fasting says, I will, I will not eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, fast them. If your fasting says, I will fast the whole week, fast it. If your fasting says, I will only be eating light foods, do it. You know what you're doing. You know what you're talking about. Am I, am I communicating to somebody here? So when you know you'll be doing a long fast, when you know you'll be doing a long fast, you do, you do not just start fasting that you'll be doing for the whole day or two days or three days just like that. You prepare. For example, if you'll be doing a fasting the following day of the whole day or two days or three days, you start area. Okay? You start area. And it is called withdrawal. You withdraw. You withdraw before your fast. So if you were eating food chicken, <laughs> you go to have chicken. The following day, you go to quarter chicken. Your fasting is next week. Another day you go. So if you were eating a plate full of rice, you begin to take half. Tomorrow, you take less. Then you, you go very, the night before the fast, you take very little food. Uh -huh. So when you do that, you have the, the following day, you have the energy and your body is prepared. It's like you sent a message to your body of what was coming ahead. Are you following? Yes. This is what God wants you to do. He wants you to fast. Let me put much emphasis. None of the miracles you saw or you read in the Bible happened for the recipients or the receivers of those miracles. God had something to do with that miracle. Oh, me too. Me too, like Hannah, I need a miracle. God, answer my prayer like Hannah. You want a child for yourself, for your glory. But Hannah, it, God wanted that child for his kingdom. So there's nothing, no any testimony in the Bible just happened for the people. God had something to do with the testimony. Raise up your two hands wherever you are. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. That you help your children wherever they are right now. Yes. Whenever they will fast, whenever they will pray. Yes. Hear their prayer, almighty God. Yes. May you answer from Zion. Yes. May you answer from the heavens. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. I lift you up before the throne. Yes. And I commend you unto God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. I commend your fasting unto the Lord. Yes. May he hear your prayer and may he hear your fasting. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray.